All right, hello and welcome. In this video, uh, we're going to look at the week ahead for the week of uh, Friday, August 25th, 2023 on the E-mini S&P 500 or the ES futures. I'm going to start with a top-down analysis from the monthly chart and then work down to the weekly and daily charts. And uh, I will give you a call for what I think that the ES is going to do uh, next week, what the next week's candle is going to look like. Um, please bear in mind I'm not a financial advisor, not financial advice. Do not base your financial decisions based off my prediction. Okay guys, so working at the monthly chart, um, we can see that we're within a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency, and we nearly made it to the 50% point here in the month of August. So we're working in that buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency, and I don't know if the month of August, so the next two weeks of trading, if the price is going to manage to get all the way down to the high of May's candle, which is 4,285 spot 25. Although it's, it's definitely possible uh, we could sell off for another two weeks and, and make it down there. Okay, going down to the weekly chart. So last week's candle was a pretty strong um, black candle that came below prior order flow to the left. So we took out we took out this sell side liquidity here and we took out this sell side liquidity here and we got a little bit of a bounce there on Friday. Now we're not really trading within any inefficiencies on the weekly chart and there's really no inefficiencies for me to talk about on the weekly chart so just looking at the weekly candle by itself, I would say, all right, probably more likely than not, we trade down on Sunday, Monday, and then trade higher for the remainder of the week. Um, I would say that that would be my most likely scenario, just looking at the uh, weekly chart. I do think that, that next week's candle is going to be a green candle. All right, daily chart. So here's where we have some inefficiencies. So we do see that we took out Just one moment. We purge the sell side liquidity on a daily chart. And we're sitting with um, we're sitting with a fair value gap or buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency sitting above right there uh, and the high of that candle comes in at 4436.75 and the low of that candle comes in at uh, 4447 even so a little bit of a fair value gap sitting above us I've also got this old buy side imbalance sell side inefficiency to the left as well that would be an inverted fair value gap uh, we just delivered into sell side liquidity and we re-delivered back and reclaimed this old uh, buy side imbalance sell side inefficiency we did trade down to the consequent encroachment of this candle's wick. So looking at next week, I, what I would first imagine is going to happen is we're probably looking at trading down to 4,364.75 or the midway point uh, of this candle that we made on Friday. I, I, I think that that is, that is probably likely. From that point, I, I think that we're going to come in I see it likely that we're going to re-deliver into this daily fair value gap that we left last week so that the low of that candle comes in at 4,417. I do think we trade at least up to 4,417. That's 37 points higher. Um, that would be the low of Wednesday's candle. I see that as uh, likely. I also see it likely that we trade down to 4,364.75, which is... Um, about 15, 14, 16 points lower. So I see that as, as likely as well. Um, yeah, I basically think that next week is going to be, so my call for what the weekly candle on August, for the week of August 25th is going to look like is, I think that the, the weekly candle is going to be a green. I think it's gonna be a green weekly candle. Uh, I do think that we, we come and trade down at least 4,364.75, but I also think that it's likely that we trade up to 4,417, and I, I see it as uh, also a likelihood that we trade up to the low of Tuesday's candle, 
which would be 4,447 evens. Uh, I see that also as, as a possibility. Now we have the an inverted wick here to the left. Okay, that would be a discount wick. That would be a discount wick up there. So I see that also as, as likely. So my basic call is that we're probably going to trade higher next week. I think, um, I think we're looking at a green candle. I think uh, Friday's candle would be the start of a retracement. Um, at least, I would say, up to 4,425 evens, potentially up to 4,447 halves. Could go, could go crazy. Could could get all the way up to like 4,044 spot two five. I don't see that as terribly likely, but that's a possibility. Um, looking at the dollar index, I think the dollar index looks like it wants to come back and trade down potentially to 102 spot 700. So I think we're going to have a little bit of a relief rally next week. Um, something of like a small candle, potentially a an inside candle. For, so if Monday the 14th of August candle was a large, a pretty substantial down candle, I think that the next week is going to be a small green candle, basically, is what I, is what I foresee as the most likely scenario. Now, if, right, if price starts trading down, then I would look at the consequent encroachment of this black candle here, and that would come in at 4,330. 4, I don't see that as the likely scenario, but it's obviously possible. So if we start trading down further, the next target I would look at would be 4,330. However, I think next week the most likely scenario is we get some sort of a, re a relief rally and we trade uh, overall the week trades uh, slightly higher. Okay, guys, this has been the week ahead for the ES for the week of August 25th, 2023.